Good afternoon, it's Jim Lakey with the news and announcements for St. John and Maxfield, Kansas on cable channel 3 and on sandyland.org, our website. Uh, today is Friday, the 10th of June, it's 84 here in the square and we're looking for sunny weather today and tomorrow, the high temperature today, 91, tomorrow, 93 and sunny both days. Then for Monday and Tuesday, we have the possibility of some thunderstorms. Uh, the high temperature on Monday is 93, and it's 93 on Tuesday as well, with thunderstorms both days. <coughs> a 30% chance on Monday and a 50% chance on Tuesday. And then we're back to sunny weather. The warmest day of the week will be Wednesday with a high temperature of 97 and then a little bit better on Thursday, sunny and 93. <clears throat> so it's getting to be warm and it does that every year. Well, anyway, happy birthday today to Marie Haker. We hope you have a great birthday, Marie. And she's the only one with a birthday or an anniversary that has us put it on for them. Uh, now we have a bunch of things for uh, the Recreation Commission and a Saturday, which is tomorrow, uh, they're having pizza and a movie. <clears throat> and if you want to go, I hope you have called up and make your reservation because I think that will be a good trip that will bring out a lot of people to go. They're having a pizza at Poppy's Pizza here in town to help out the local business. Then they're going to leave at, at 5.15, they're having the pizza, they leave at 6.15 for Great Bend, and they get there around 7, and you have your choice of movies at the Golden Belt Cinema, and you probably want to check because I think that's the day they change what the movies are, so be sure if you're interested to pick one out ahead of time uh, to check in various places that have what the new movies are. And then they're coming back to St. John around 10. <clears throat> and the price for the pizza in the movie is $25. Then the brunch bunch is having brunch at Perkins on Tuesday. And they're leaving at 9. And after they have brunch at Perkins, they're going to have uh, short shopping trips if anybody requests one uh, before they return to St. John by lunchtime. And if nobody requests a shopping trip, well then they'll just come right back home. And that cost is just five dollars for the gas and you have to uh, you have to buy your own lunch at Perkins. And Perkins is a really good place to get brunch because uh, they have a menu that goes all day and you can get the breakfast menu in the afternoon and uh, sometimes it's a really good place to go. I've enjoyed Perkins. Uh, anyway, now back to the uh, announcements. <clears throat> the Dodge Casino trip is this month on Wednesday the 29th. Only it's going to be in the evening because they're worried about the heat. So uh, Wednesday at uh, 4 o'clock they leave the Rec Commission. They're in the casino from uh, 5.15 to 8.30. And then they leave in order to get back by 10 o'clock at night, which is a reasonable time for us folks to get back. And it's $10 for the transportation. <coughs> And you need to check both things, the heat and how much, uh, if it's too windy. And if there's a storm, the trip could be canceled because of that. Dangerous driving around in one of those square buses uh, in the wind. Well, all right, then we get to our fellowship meals. And over at the VIP center, they're having hot chicken salad today with rice. And on Monday, they're having sweet and sour chicken with rice. And on Tuesday, liver and onions or smothered steak with baked potatoes. And on Wednesday, baked pollock with macaroni and cheese. 
And then here at the Sunflowers, they're having ham patties with pineapple and green salad today. On Monday, they're having braised beef tips, noodles, and broccoli. On Tuesday, baked turkey patties um, and cheesy pasta. And then on Friday, they're having oven fried chicken and mashed potatoes with gravy. And the folks just can't go wrong at those fellowship meals. They have really great food. Well, before I have the word of the day, uh, we had a lot of excitement in the city. And uh, there was uh, quite a uh, disagreement uh, between the, the mayor and uh, one of the council members. And uh, the, the rumors are that the, the mayor is resigning and maybe the council member is going to uh, as well. And then they had some other uh, arguments between people that were bringing uh, things to the council that are arguing over uh, whether there's the council's doing its job with keeping property clean and or whether they're persecuting the person whose property they want to keep clean. <clears throat> so I would suggest to everybody that as soon as it gets out there, you check on the internet on sandylandcenter.org and then you go and look through the council meetings until you get to the one that was there. And then you'll get to see firsthand everything that happened. There was a surprise to most of us. And I'll be looking myself to see what happened because uh, it just was very uh, confusing and surprising that all this would go on in one single meeting. Well, the word of the day is this. You can't get much done by starting tomorrow. And that's a good one for me, so I'm going to start today and stop talking on the news. So, have a good week.